Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so you guys know what that means. We have another tale from the Pissy Pie Piper, okay? So what's going down now with the Pissy Pie Piper is this. There's another accuser. She's finally come out. Her name is Faith Rogers, and she's from Texas. And basically, she did an interview the other day coming out stating that R. Kelly gave her herpes, okay? This entire situation is just really disturbing. This girl is now 20, but she was messing with R. Kelly when she was 19 years old. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. This woman, Faith Rogers, says that she was in a relationship with R. Kelly when she was 19 for nearly a year before leaving. During that time, she says Kelly instructed her to call him daddy and would lock her up for hours at a time. Rogers says he even introduced her to one of the five women Kelly allegedly said he was raising. He was like, here's my number, um, take it, text me a picture of you so I know it's you with your name. 20-year-old Faith okay. Rogers says in March of last year, she met R. Kelly in San Antonio at a party after his concert. He was older than me and that was a red flag, you know. Did you look at him as a 50-year-old man at the time? Not at all. Even being around him, he doesn't act his age. And you feel like I'm chilling with somebody I went to high school with. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. After two months of phone calls, texting, and FaceTiming, she says R. Kelly flew her to New York to attend one of his shows and even paid for her hotel. The morning after the performance, she says Kelly visited her room. He turns on all the lights and he's like, take off your clothes. And he says it, you know, with authority in his voice, not just, you know, he's demanding me to do this. And I didn't take off my clothes because why would I? I just wasn't ready. Sex isn't something, you know, I'm ready for it. According to Rogers, she ultimately submitted to having sex and alleges Kelly recorded it on his iPad without her consent. Did you want to have sex with him? No. He has this type of, like, intimidation right off the bat, you know? So I was just waiting for it to be over. What happens after that? What sort of conversation did you guys have? He comes over and he starts, like, rubbing the side of my face. And he asked me how old I was. And I told him. And he's like, you know, if you're really, you know, 16, that you can tell daddy, right? And he was like, you know, you just look about 14, 15, or 16. Rogers, who was 19 at the time, is suing R. Kelly for sexual battery and willfully, deliberately, and maliciously infecting her with herpes. And she claims Kelly mentally, sexually, and verbally abused her. She believes the now 51-year-old Kelly pursues teenage or underage girls and lures them into engaging in sex acts. In April, she filed a criminal complaint with the Dallas Police Department and says under their advisement, she recorded a phone call with Kelly, hoping he would admit to knowingly giving her an STD. But what about my situation? I don't, I don't, I don't know about no situation. I don't remember Rogers claims Kelly also routinely locked her in a van. The first time I was left in the car for a total of eight hours that night, and the child lock was on the car. Rogers believes Kelly was priming her to join a group of women she says he lives and travels with. He goes on to tell me that he raises five women. Some of them have been with him for 15 years, and he basically was trying to make it seem like it was a family thing. Um, he described these women as being his family. Then he goes on to tell me, you know what, I love you because you remind me of them. She claims she had a brief conversation with at least one of those women, Joycelyn Savage. My dog is severely brainwashed. She's In July of 2017, Savage's parents held a news conference asking authorities to remove their daughter from Kelly's home. So we just want him to release her and let her go on with her life. 
They believe Savage and several other girls were being controlled by Kelly and forced to perform sex acts as part of a cult. But Savage denied those claims to TMZ. I am in a happy place with my life and I'm not being brainwashed. For decades, there have been questions concerning R. Kelly and his relationship with underage girls. In 2008, he was acquitted on child pornography charges. Prosecutors alleged he made a sex tape with a girl around 14 years old. A 2017 BuzzFeed investigation describes three women who say they were sexually abused by Kelly and were part of a sex cult. Kelly has long denied these allegations. A social media campaign to mute R. Kelly led to promoters canceling a concert in Kelly's hometown of Chicago last month. He reacted on Twitter. I've never heard of a show being canceled because of homeless. I hope you guys, you know, don't put that on me. Despite nationwide protests at shows, the three-time Grammy winner is still performing. As for Rogers, she hopes by coming forward, she can help put an end to Kelly's long history of alleged abuse. What was it about him that kept you going back? Um, it's not like all the time he was just, you know, this devious person. There's been times where he's, you know, crying and he's telling me, you know, about his children, about his ex-wife, comparing himself to Michael Jackson and how, you know, how, how the media destroyed him and he felt like that's what was going on in his life. Why file the lawsuit? I want it for girls like me who are going to run into him in the future and he's going to do the exact same thing. But it could get worse, you know. I chose to walk away. What about the ones who don't walk away? We reached out to our Kelly's representatives and they told us they have no comment on Rogers' allegations or the new lawsuit. In a Washington Post article in April, a representative for Kelly said the singer categorically denies all claims and allegations. Rogers says she is not looking for a settlement and her lawyers say they will be seeking a jury trial. You know, this, I think, is just so surprising for people who been following his yeah. career and, and everything surrounding these allegations yeah. for years, uh, to hear that this girl was 19 yeah. at and the time R. Kelly was something. 50. Yeah. You know, as you point out, these are not new allegations about him. It's right. been... It, these stories about him have been going on for years, starting with the marriage to Aaliyah when she was 15, and, of course, she's no longer with us. But maybe in this time that we're living in now, Jerika, maybe people will hear it differently and pay attention to it in a way that they never have, because it's very creepy and disturbing. Well, and also, well, particularly with the sexually transmitted disease, exactly. if this goes to trial discovery, they will talk to his doctors. Right. That should be yeah. knowable. I didn't right. know that's against the law. It's against the law to, to knowingly, knowingly give somebody. I mean, this is an STD she's going to live with for yeah. the rest of her life. Yeah, very, very disturbing story. Thank you. Now, y'all just watched that video, and that entire video is very, very disturbing. But the thing that bothers me with this situation is, like, I mean, this isn't 1993. Like, this was literally a year ago. So I'm not understanding why these young girls are still so pressed to go meet with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, yes, he's a celebrity, but everybody knows his background. You know, I feel like this is a tale of a groupie that went wrong, that a lot of these women are looking to get with him or looking to be picked by him, and they're thinking something special is going to happen. And then, you know, it just ends up that, he you know, he's just an old person. He just likes young girls. And I wish these girls who are 19, 20, and 21 would realize that. You know what I'm saying? There's enough information out here to let you guys know, do not mess with R. Kelly. He has issues. You know what I'm saying? He's a sexual deviant. And unfortunately for her, now she has an STD behind this mess. And now they're saying that there's even more women coming out. But right now, R. Kelly doesn't seem to care. Um, there's been a secret video that was posted on Facebook the other day where basically R. Kelly is bragging. He's saying that they should have stopped him 30 years ago. There's nothing they can do. And he's basically patting himself on the back. Go ahead and check out this video that was released the other day. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A million motherfuckers hate me. A 40 go. billion motherfuckers yeah. loving me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna take this musical shit, and I'm gonna inject these motherfuckers with this musical, beautiful motherfucking shit. No, no, don't do that. I can't afford no more kids. No, 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 no. I got like two more left. I am handcuffed like a lot of you motherfuckers. I'm handcuffed by my destiny. It's too late. They should have did this shit 
30 years ago. <laughs> it's too late. True. It, the music has been injected That's into right. the world. Right. Okay? I hired my motherfucking self. Right. I want to propose a toast to all the strong motherfuckers in here right my now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, motherfuckers like you is why I still continue to do what I do because I have a basketball mentality. You understand? Yeah. Well, as long as I got the ball, the world is on defense. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so you guys just saw that video of R. Kelly. So R. Kelly knows, you know, he basically feels like he's untouchable at this point. Now, in other R. Kelly news, now you guys remember I've been covering the whole Spotify situation, how they were trying to ban him and get rid of his playlist and his music and all that stuff. Well, now because of that, his streams have gone up on Apple Music, Tidal, and other places. And R. Kelly's super happy. He feels like, you know, now he's definitely untouchable that because they try to censor him, it made more people go out and download his music. So because of the censorship that Spotify was trying to put on R. Kelly, it basically backfired on them. And now he has music in the top tens. And now his musical streams have literally doubled, okay? You know, so this entire situation is crazy that people will run out and go stream even more. But it makes sense because people feel like, you know, the way to fight censorship is to go and support those who are being censored. But I'm still not going to support R. Kelly. I still think he's a pervert and everything that he's involved in is just really disturbing. But R. Kelly is definitely not the only one. And I want to reiterate that, that it's not just the R. Kelly's of the world. A lot of these guys who have money, power, and fame, they do the same thing. As of today, Harvey Weinstein is currently trending all over social media. He has been arrested and charged with rape and sexual abuse of two women. He just bailed himself out about 30 minutes ago on a million dollars bail. Okay, so a lot of these men are doing all types of perverted stuff behind the scenes, including America's favorite father of sex. Hugh Hefner, he was another pervert that was getting girls when they were really young. You know, 18, 19, he had sex with Kendra Wilkinson when she was 18 years old. You know, he has all types of orgies and everything else. This whole sex cult of R. Kelly's reminds me of the same thing that Hugh Hefner was doing. And if you guys don't know what Hugh Hefner was up to with these women, I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a clip from another YouTuber. His name is KJ. He has a really cool conspiracy channel and basically talks about the sexual deviances of Hugh Hefner. Go ahead and check this out. Spalding is an ex playmate and she pulls no punches as she reveals what really goes on behind Hef's closed doors. In the Playboy Mansion, Hugh Hefner has what he calls his personal slaves. A personal slave is someone who has to follow all the rules of Hef where you're asked to move out. She gets to live in the house, but she has a 9.30 p.m. curfew and she has to participate on Wednesdays and Fridays for sex night. They're required nights for sex. You have to go upstairs to Hef's bedroom unless you just had a nose job or a major operation. Otherwise, you have to go. Even if it's that time of the month where you're sick and the doctors tell you that you can't participate, you still have to show up that night. On sex night, you go upstairs and the girls that are brand new or the girls who don't have their own room yet have to take a bath. That's a requirement. You also have to put on a certain pair of pink pajamas. They're all lined up and neat. You can tell they've been to the cleaners. They tell you to put them on even though you take them off as soon as you enter the room. It's pitch dark in there and there's loud techno music playing. There's also two big screen TVs. As far as the sexual encounter goes, he doesn't really do anything. He just lies there with his Viagra erection. It's a fake erection and each girl gets on top for a few minutes while the girls in the background try to keep him excited. The main girlfriend, when they're done, wipes off his penis. She's the girl who actually shares the bed with him. She sleeps there all night. She's around 22 years old and uses the same girls all the time. It's interesting because each girl pairs up with another girl and they pretend to have girl-on-girl -girl sex while Hef is having his turn with the other girl. It's not real lesbian sex. We're all just pretending because nobody really likes each other. There's also gay porn playing constantly in the background. It's also important to understand that pretty much every woman that makes it into Playboy has had sex with Hugh Hefner. However, some girls don't have to be hosed to get in, like Carrie Harrison. She was in soap operas, so she already had a following. She didn't have to be a hoe.
All right, so you guys just heard that small snippet of KJ reading from a book from one of the former Playboy playmates that used to live with Hugh Hefner. So again, I feel like that is what R. Kelly's trying to do. He's trying to have this whole haram of girls so that way he can be the black Hugh Hefner. So he's manipulating a lot of these young girls. And that's why I feel like it's very important that we hold people like him and others accountable for their actions. And a lot of these young girls, the ones who are, you know, over the age of 18, I'm not talking about the super young teenagers, need to also wake up and realize that you you know what I mean? This is a dead end road and stop looking to these celebrity men to take care of you or to join their little sex cults because at the end of the day, they're just using you and then once you get to a certain age or once they're no longer attracted to you or they're over you, they just toss you out like trash, you know? And I feel like that's what's going on and that's why a lot of these women are not coming forward. That's why a lot of them are upset, especially that one woman, Kitty Jones down in Texas. She's the main one, you know, she was 30 something years old when she ran to go be one of R. Kelly's girlfriends and at her age, she she should have definitely known better. So this entire situation is just crazy. It's going to be very interesting to see how all this foolishness plays out. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Pissy Pie Piper, R. Kelly. How do you guys feel about this new woman, Faith Rogers, coming out and, you know, accusing R. Kelly of giving her an STD, basically grooming her for a year and, you know, abusing her? And then also, how do you guys feel about the whole Harvey Weinstein situation now that he's been charged with rape and sexual abuse of women? And do you feel like because of this whole Me Too movement, there's going to be more and more men, you know what I'm saying, being accused of things like this? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.